you are watching an SEO content machine next tutorial video and today I'm going to talk about how to use the new web crawler tool scrapers web crawler you can find it here on the left hand side I'm going to create a new web crawler task by clicking on this button here and for today's example URL I'm going to use the SEO content machine domain now we have a couple of settings here at the bottom the first one is the depth so this will control how many pages down from the original URL here it will follow to find additional links so for example it goes to seocontentmachine.com it finds a whole bunch of links and because it's step one it's going to exit and save those links to a file now if I made it depth two any links that the application found on this SEO content machine page because it's step two it's going to visit all those links and save the links that it's found on those child pages. That three obviously means it's going to go to home page, child page, and then follow up once again to go to another child page. So three levels down to find more links. We have the max links to crawl setting as well. So this controls the maximum amount of links to visit. If you have it at minus one, it's unlimited. So it's going to follow every link it's found. For the interest of time, I'm going to limit the number of links scrolled to 10. We have two boxes here. One is the only allow links. So you put in characters and words to only match links you want to save and to follow. Here we have ignore links. So these are links to not save and to not follow. We have the save location and also the file name string options at the bottom. I'm going to click on the green run button, click on the task name and wait for it to start. So my, so my task now has started running and we can see its progress here in the task log. It's visiting the SEO content machine homepage. It's found 42 links on that page. 33 Links on that page were added to the to crawl list. There were 41 unique links on that page. So it's done one crawl. It's also done the second crawl now out of 10. And this is to the same page. You can see it's found the slash hash link. If you wanted to make this process more efficient, you could put a hash as a ignore link because it's just visiting the same URL twice. It's gone and visited some new URLs on this list here. It's found some nine links on the plants and prices page. And it's added that to the total list of found links. So not all links on that page were unique to what it's already found. We can see it's found actually a PNG file and it's gone and followed that and tried to index that. Obviously it's an image, so we don't want it to index an image. So what I can do is I can con actually copy this output string here, .png. Now if I went back into my web crawler and under ignore links, I delete all this and just put in PNG. Now when I run the tool again, you'll see that actually the next time it runs, it won't follow these PNG links. Instead, it'll go and follow some other links. After I restarted the task, now when I'm looking at the task log, it's correctly ignored my PNG links and it's followed some other links instead. So this is working. Now if I wanted to view the output of all the URLs that the web crawler had found, I would click on this green explore output folder. And now this takes me directly to the location of the saved URL file. As you can see it saved it here as it under the domain name. I'm just going to drag that over you can see the output so these are all the links that exist on the home page and it's also don't forget drilled down one page further into the child pages and found additionally these other links now something to note with the web crawler is that it only follows links on the same page belonging to the domain so if I had put in seocontentmachine.com you notice it's found links going out to external domains SEO content machine web crawler won't actually go and visit those sites so it keeps all the links it finds to whatever was existing on the original domain it visited 
which was seocontentmachine.com. Now, if I did want to actually go and filter this links out, it'd be pretty easy. All I need to do is copy this domain name, seocontentmachine.com, and in the allow only links, I would just do copy and paste, and this would do two things. One, it will stop the web crawler from saving non SEO content machine links that are external. And secondly, by default, it also never visits those external links. So this is how you can filter them out from your results page. If you have any questions on how to use this tool, please feel free to make a comment in the section below this video or send an email info at seocontentmachine.com.